Hi everybody, this is Dino Chris for Prehistoric Facts. This is another special episode. The, no, the number three uh, special animal that we're going to be talking about is Dino Hyas. You voted, and we have, and I have the result. And the results were that it was a unanimous vote for the uh, for Dino Hyas or the Terminator Pig. Now let's get started by its size. The size of uh, Dino Hyas or the Terminator Pig is pretty much uh, 12 feet long, uh, 6 to 7 feet tall, and probably weighed um, pretty close to a ton, like around uh, pretty close to 2,000 pounds. And uh, what we actually see out of this animal is its huge size. It's a prehistoric mammal, pretty much living in the late Eocene and uh, early Oligocene period. And it's and it's real, and it's one of the big. It's a big mammal, and and it mainly lived in regions in North America, probably around Nebraska. The fossils have been found in Nebraska, uh, some parts of uh, South Dakota and North Dakota. And we actually, and, and let's see about its diet. Uh, the diet of uh, of Dino Hyas and its relatives, known as the Intelodonts. Uh, were pretty much um, I, at the beginning they didn't even know what they were in terms of what they ate. Uh, early on, when Intelodon fossils were found, uh, they were actually they were considered it was pretty much like a bear. They thought it might actually be a bear. But later on, when they actually looked at the teeth of uh, of the Intelodons, they actually found grooves. Uh, on those teeth to actually deduce, suggest that it might have actually uh, dug for roots and what it's which is a common thing for uh, pigs pigs actually eat roots so they actually use their tusks to dig roots out of the ground uh, what, and so we actually know that uh, the intelligence closest living relatives are the pig are, is the pig but later evidence actually actually found is that uh, is uh, bite marks on uh, bones of of prey animals like uh, our early rhinos, camels, um, uh, small horses, and a few other, and a few other animals, uh, including its own its own kind. Is that uh, bite marks are 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 a good match of the tusks and teeth of uh, of uh, the intelodonts. Suggesting that these are hyper carnivores, so these are actually uh, animals that actually eat meat and always want meat. And now I believe that um, most likely the Intelodonts and Dinohyus included as their as its uh, earlier relative Archaeotherium uh, are are pretty much carnivores but I would say if they were digging for roots that's a possibility but their teeth are more likely designed uh, for uh, eating eating meat and when we actually look at the skull of uh, the intelligence we actually see that it's, it's a big skull uh, pretty 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 big skull Archaeotherium only has um, Probably almost probably one and a half foot to two foot skull. Dino Hyas uh, actually has a meter long skull, which is over three feet long, and that is and that's an unbelievable size. If you actually take a good look at this picture of an of Dino Hyas, that's what Dino Hyas would look like. Is big, bulky animal, and when we actually see how muscular it is it's pretty it's a it's like a big tank it's like a tank and I uh, and Dino Hyas and the Intelodonts have hooves on their feet so they're hooved carnivore and most and pretty much their bite force is unimaginable I mean they probably might have the mo have the strongest bite force out of it, any mammalian animal in in on the face of the earth probably a little bit over 2,000 pounds per square inch we don't know exactly we can't predict we can't actually have a good estimate guess of how 
uh, how strong the bite force was for uh, entelodonts like Archaetherium and uh, Dinohyus. When we look at the canines of uh, Dinohyus, they're this big around. That is that is pretty. Th no, that's a pretty thick canine, and these these animals are known to crush bones. And if we actually try to predict how it behaved, um, we actually have to take a good look at tracks and look at the ecosystem around it. Uh, is that um, it lived in the open plains and some forested areas. Um, but mainly for Dino Hyas, it mainly was more into the open plains because of its size. Because if it lived in a in a densely forested area, it wouldn't even have that. Wouldn't even be able to move basically because of its bulk. Um, the the behavior of it is really hard to predict. I do think it killed prey. I think it did kill prey. Probably using its bulk to knock down the animals and. Uh, just knock it over and then whenever the animals on the ground then it can uh, go in and kill it with its powerful jaws basically biting the animal right on the back of the head or right at the neck to kill the prey quickly and uh, but I mainly agree with uh, Dr. Scott Foss who is an expert in uh, intelligence uh, I agree with him that uh, Intelodonts, including Archaetherium and Dinohyus, were scavengers. They were hyper scavengers. And the reason why is that they're very bulky animals. They don't need to kill prey very often. So I would probably say that because since it's since it has hooves, does not have claws, most mammalian predators today have claws to actually hang on to their prey and actually be able to bite and just weaken the animal to weaken the animal so that it can go so that they can kill it. But if I actually have to say about intelligence, it could kill prey if it had to, but it's mainly going to be a scavenger because you see, when we look at the brain of uh, of the CAT scans of the brain case of intelligence, we actually see that the the largest portion of the brain is devoted to the sense of smell, and Archaeotherium and Dinohyus have long snouts very big opening in the nasal cavity and and what that really tells is that that area of the snout is really sensitive so it's very highly sensitive so it's pretty much it's saying that it has a very powerful sense of smell as for its eyesight it has forward facing eyes probably has binocular vision it's not gonna it's mainly a predatory adaptation but it would only do it for a short period of time but it would actually go after kills. It would go after kills from other predators, like uh, the big name predator uh, in the environment uh, for Archaeotherium was Hyenodon, uh, like a mix of a wolf and a cat uh, kind of uh, kind of animal. Has has razor-like teeth, powerful jaws, and can take down any animal it wanted. Um, for Dinohyus. The animals that were around, a hyena would have still been around, but it was on its last legs uh, on the on the face of the earth. But its main competitor was a newcomer into uh, North America. <clears throat> it's called Amphicyon, which is a bear dog, a mix between a bear and a dog. And these animals were huge were basically big predators. They were not as big as Dino Hyas, but they were very. They had a they had a good sense of intelligence. They were smarter. Basically, they were smarter than Intelodonts. When we look at the uh, brain of the Intelodonts, they have very smooth brains, meaning that that they didn't have a very high intellect. They were mainly driven by instinct, not. Because you could not throw, uh, you could not give an Intelodon an IQ, an IQ test and actually let it deal with it. Because it would just basically just look at it and say, well, I don't know what to do with this. Um, and um, and pretty much uh, the bear dogs were 
pushing the intel we're pushing Dino Highest away from uh, their kills and also um, uh, pushing away Dino Highest from its kills or even other carcasses because Amphision was an amazing predator. It killed prey much more effectively, it ate meat more effectively, and also it actually crushed bones more effectively than uh, the uh, intel than uh, Dino Highest. And Dino Highest was driven by in was driven to extinction because it could not compete with much smarter and faster carnivores. And the smarter, faster carnivores were becoming uh, much were becoming bigger, they were getting more smarter, and they were actually um, having much more effective weapons. And, and then later on when we see uh, some of the early uh, uh, hogs and pigs that actually evolved, they actually came into the fossil record, we actually see that they actually became more uh, uh, herbivorous. And they were becoming more herbivorous, more e eating plants and roots. So we actually saw a great deal of uh, pigs being it, becoming um, herbivores, but pigs are omnivores. So they can actually eat meat too. And that's because they they still have their traits from uh, their uh, carnivorous ancestors like Dinohyas and Archaeotherium. And pretty and it's pretty much how they got extinct. Is Basically, the environment has changed, and also um, they couldn't compete with uh, smarter and faster carnivores. But when we when we look at a modern uh, hog or a pig, we actually see that we can actually look at its ancestors and say how ugly and nasty they were. They were the ugliest. They would have been the ugliest thing you would have ever seen. They would have. But they had a face that only a mother can love, and you would not want to be in front of an intelligent. You would just, you would just go, you would just try to get away from that animal. You had no chance to, to try to fight back against it. You would just, you would just basically kill you. All right, that's it for the third episode, and uh, hopefully uh, everybody can check out the Facebook page that I have. That I have on Facebook, uh, Prehistoric Facts with Dino Chris, uh, and also vote for two animals this time that I'll actually that actually do for the fourth and fifth episode. I would actually be done for over a month with the special episodes. So if you actually vote, these will be dinosaurs this time. I want to get some dinosaurs up here. I'm desperate for some dinosaurs. Um, <clears throat> so uh, vote for the for, for two dinosaurs and like. And I can actually do a couple of those dinosaurs. Right now, it's pretty much even for um, for some of the dinosaur for some of the dinosaurs I have listed. So hopefully, get out there and vote. And make sure that if you want if you want to vote for that dinosaur, I would actually present I would actually present that dinosaur. And hey, if if you vote for the dinosaur that actually that one of the dinosaurs that I have in my collection, I will actually show it to you. All right, uh, that's it for now, and make sure to take care of the people around you. And also, all and this is Mother's Day. Happy Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there in the world. And you and make sure and, and all your kids out there. Be nice to your mother and all and all the fathers around. You know, make sure that your kids uh, listen. That is this is it's Mother's Day. It's mom's time, and make sure that they take care of their mother. And uh, <clears throat> and also check out my. Uh, Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page and also <clears throat> follow me on Twitter uh, at CS Grawl. And make sure you email me some questions about other prehistoric animals, including dinosaurs, um, at dinochris71 at gmail.com. I want some questions. I make sure that I'll actually answer them to you as honestly as I can. And hopefully, your question will be answered. And, <clears throat> and also, for you young kids out there, make sure to. Make sure to listen to your teachers, your parents, and your guardians. They're the best motivation you can get for an education. Because if you don't have an education, you're not actually, you're not going to get you know you're not going to have a really good a really good job. And so I'll see you see you guys later.